Hi, it's Dan Welker with another Business Statistics 208 video. And today we're going to be talking about three different um, ANOVA examples and try to do so without that screen going black again. The three different types of ANOVA, as you've learned so far in this class, are one factor, two factor without replication, and two factor with replication. What I've got here is a setup of the data that would be required to run each of those separate three types of ANOVA. Uh, we're going to, in this video, go through the three different setups and then we'll make uh, a, su a subsequent follow-up video for each one of these types, showing in detail how they are performed in Excel and then also the interest of these designs, which is the one-factor test. This test shows us the data collected in an experiment for a company named Spa Cha Cha. Spa Cha Cha is located throughout the Western United States and they specialize in not only being a full service spa uh, targeting middle aged women, but they also have the added benefit of having partner provided dance lessons either before, during, or after the uh, selected spa treatments. Spa Cha Cha is run by a fully trained statistician and she has decided to do a social media marketing campaign uh, to try and get new customers and has uh, decided that maybe she would like to at the same time gather some market intelligence about demand for her offerings and so she has offered in this first campaign three different price represents a fairly considerable savings to retail. The data here that you can see she has collected is four numbers for each of the three price points, meaning she marketed this to a group of 200 randomly selected customers, did it again, again, and again, and then did it also for the medium and high price points, and the data shown were the number of respondents or buyers. Our hypothesis that we will want to test statistically is that mu, or the average number of responders, is the same for all price points. Now we can use mu, uh, or average, of number of responders because the number of... The alternative hypothesis is that mu is not the same for each of the price points. And we will do this test and any uh, other tests today using an alpha level of 0.05. The next version here is a little more complicated, and that's the two-factor with no replication. You can see that data here. Now, the way to read this is that she has mixed up her test just a little bit, and she has offered the $20, $30, and $40 coupons to customers again, again, $200 per test cell. However, instead of focusing on just one market or on unnamed markets, that she assumes to be similar, she has named the markets. Those four markets here shown are Austin, Boise, Cupertino, and Denver. And you can see that she has then been able to collect data for all three of those. Now because we've got a two-factor, meaning price and location, test here, we're able to test one additional hypothesis. See here that my original hypothesis remains the same. Mu, average number of responders, is the same for all price points. I have an additional hypothesis to test, however, and that is that mu, average number of responders, is the same for all cities. And the alternative to each of those null hypotheses is that the null hypothesis, uh, null hypothesis uh, is not the same. Here on the right, you can see a much more complex and colorful design and that is for the two-factor with replication. That means that she has repeated within the price-location combination, she has repeated the test at least once. Here you can see that she has done six tests for each price-location combination in the city of Austin, six for each in Boise, six for each in Cupertino, and six for each in Denver. Now this will not only allow her to test her price points, low versus medium versus high, her locations, Austin versus Boise versus Cupertino versus Denver, as she has done before, but she will also now be able to test the interaction between price and location. That is to say, is there some additional additive effect 
when the price is low, medium, or high in one city that differs from how those prices might behave in another city. <clears throat> Some questions for you to think about with these three different types of experimental design and their uh, subsequent analysis. One, what is the strengths and weaknesses of the three different experimental designs? Two, how would data acquisition cost, and that could be financial cost, that could be non-financial cost such as time, that could also uh, be opportunity cost, how would that cost affect your choice among the three design options? Three, what strategic or long-term benefits could you name that might offset the costs of running such a test? And four, how might this test and any subsequent ex customer expectations because of having run this test potentially affect Spa Cha Cha's brand? So think about those and think about these three different types of ANOVA. Notice that the data setup materially materially differs from one to the next and um, I will see you online and good luck with the homework.